Hey, what's up all my lovely giraffes? It is me, Nicole here, back with another video. So a little over a week ago, I celebrated my birthday and for that weekend, I was able to go out and do a little bit of birthday shopping, but not the usual shopping. I love going to yard sales and flea markets, as you guys may know from my past videos. So for my birthday, I wanted to do a little yard sailing, and guys, let me tell you, I was shocked with what I found. So I wanna go through and show you guys what I was able to find, so it'll be like an LPS birthday haul. So this day, we had a couple yard sales and then a flea market to go to, and the first yard sale we went to was actually only not even 10 minutes away from my own house. So we pulled up and their advertisement had said a lot of toys were gonna be featured here. So I was super excited to check it out and see what I could find. So while I was looking at the toys, I saw two plastic bags and they had some LPS and then uh, mostly LPS like houses and accessories in there. So I was curious and asked the owner if they would be willing to just sell the pets. And that is when things took an unexpected but very exciting turn. So basically, before I knew it, guys, I had a whole drawer of LPS in front of me. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen I posted on my story that I was yard sailing and I was posting my reactions and everything throughout the day. And here's just a couple photos from that. But oh my word, guys, I was so happy. So after spending about 45 minutes, maybe a whole hour at this one yard sale, here are the pets that I picked out. I told you guys, there was a whole drawer of LPS. So here it is guys, yes, all of this came from one yard sale, believe it or not. I barely could believe it myself. So let's go through this first bag, because remember, I went to a couple different yard sales and this is just the first, <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so I've pulled out all of the LPS dogs that I've got and we're gonna start with them. So every dog here I did not previously have, so I was so excited to find this mini. So I'll show you guys some of the pets up close. This one I was so happy to get. This one is from the black and white set that has a bunch of other LPS that are like this design in it. And you guys know I love to collect bulldogs and I did not have this one and it was in such good condition. So I was also excited to find these Cocker Spaniels. Um, I didn't have any of these, so I'm glad to add them to my collection. This one, I think she has some maybe like clear nail polish on her ears, but that's okay. The next two dogs I got were the Dodget Hounds, and I'm sure you guys are eyeing her and these. So I do want to talk a little bit about this one. So I understand this pet 675 is sought after like by probably every LPS collector, and I know they make a lot of fakes. So, with that being said, I really wasn't sure if this one was going to be real or if it was going to be fake. I'm not exactly sure what to think. My most main concern is underneath her neck, there is no gradient color. There is a clear peg and a blue magnet. However, that doesn't really mean much. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you think that this 675 is real or fake. Another little piece of information, this dog right here, I think it's a Jack Russell, um, the paint on it, it's really hard to explain and you probably can't see it on camera, but I've gotten a couple fakes off eBay before and their paint always sort of comes like this. Not to say that this one, that automatically means it's fake, but that's just another little thing I noticed. Anyways, guys, it was still pretty awesome to find these at a yard sale. All right, guys, here's the next little group of like little farm animals and stuff. So the only one that I already had owned was this LPS cow. The rest I did not. So I'm not sure if you guys know, but I really love deer and love to collect the LPS deer. And I did not have these two. And oh my word, guys, when I saw this little pig, oh my word, he was so cute. I had to get him. Okay, here's a few more I got. I did not have any of these guys, and of course I had to get the giraffe. And this person had a bunch of walkable LPS, but none of them worked. So I've always seen the fish one and liked it. So I, I kind of got it, hoping I could change the batteries. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they can do that, but I can always use it for a video. And here is the cats that I got. As you guys see, I got a lot more dogs than I did cats, but these are still super cute. 
And did you guys notice someone is missing their fur? <laughs> this is the fuzzy LPS cat, but there's no fur on her. I always, when I find LPS that are flawed or damaged, they're very unique and I always like to pick them up. And here are the last pets that I got from this yard sale. These are the LPS minis. As you can see, I got a couple of them. Um, I ended up getting these two right here to make into some LPS keychains that I sell over on my Etsy shop. But all these with glitter are so cute. So yes, guys, this ginormous pile came from just one yard sale. I, I couldn't believe it. I was sure I had found the best yard sale of the day and that I would find no more LPS. But guys, how I was wrong about that. I ended up going to the flea market and I could see a lot of toy booths and I went up to one and another full drawer of LPS. Now these were more of the newer ones, not so much of the old generations, but as I was looking around behind the counter, there was a huge bucket of the old generation one and two LPS. So I ended up asking if it was for sale and they did say that it was, although the prices were a little more expensive than the ones that they had out. So I went through that box and ended up with one pet and then I went through the LPS drawer and I did find a few items. So the one pet that I ended up getting from the container was this poodle. It's a very pretty pastel color that I did not have her before, so I'm super excited to have. And here is what I pulled out from the drawer, and let's go through it. So I'll start with the pets. First up, we have these adorable angelfish. One in the middle that is glittery. I love collecting these guys, and there was three of them just out in the bigger drawer. Next are these two cute fish, oh my word. And a few of these are gonna need a little bit of cleaning up, but that is okay. Next, I was able to find these two cuties. This hermit crab is one of the Valentine's pets. And then this one also came with the black and white set that I was talking about earlier with the dog. Then here are the rest of the pets. Guys, I found this cute giraffe. This is one of the newer ones. And then here's a cute hamster. And this bunny may seem ordinary, but... So the eyes actually follow you when you turn its head, so I thought that that would definitely be cool for a video. And then this little parrot, um, he looks very questionable. I think it's either maybe a McDonald's pet or maybe some type of Bratz pet. I just thought it was so cute with his little beak and I just had to get him. So that's it for the large pets. For the little mini ones, I was able to get these two cuties. And here is all of the accessories that I was able to get. I had to dig terribly down to the bottom, guys, and it was super hard. Um, I kind of want to go back and dig around some more. It just took me forever, and I had already been there for a while. But this is what I was able to get. I know some of these items are not LPS, but I always love to find little mini stuff that fits LPS. And of course, actual Hasbro accessories. Imagine the depths I had to go to find these little tiny accessories. Guys, I felt like people were staring at me and I thought I was cuckoo. I'm sure they probably did. But that is all I got from the second booth. Let's go ahead and move on to the next. So guys, I don't have any pictures of this booth, but imagine a toy filled booth with a drawer on the ground. So I started sifting through a lot of toys and here is what I found. So these two LPS items are the actual only LPS items or Hasbro items I found. So I did find a horse and a little tractor. So the rest of these items are not LPS, but I can definitely use them for LPS videos. And here are a few more things that I got. Um, a Lala Loopsy pig, a few cute animals. And I think these are for LOL dolls. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure. And then I found a Monster High Draculaura hat. I thought that was pretty random, but cool. So that booth was mainly just small accessories, and I didn't find too many LPS there, but it was still a good stop. Next, let's move on to the final booth. So this booth had their LPS packaged in little nice bags. So I was able to get four different pet bags. We'll start with the first one. So we've got an octopus and then this really pretty shiny corgi. And sadly, there's a little small ear mark that it looks like a dog maybe chewed, but that is okay. 
Next pack. Okay, so this was the damaged pack, as you guys can see. So like I said earlier, anytime I find an LPS that is like damaged or whatever, I just like to get them because it adds uniqueness to them. So this cat, I definitely can figure something to do with my videos in. And this poor bunny, oh my word, his fuzz. Next and finally are the mini pets. And here are the mini pets that I got. So I got these to keep, this adorable moose and this poodle. I also think that I'll probably keep this little black and white one. But again, like I said earlier, I got most of these to make into little miniature LPS keychains. And you guys can find them in my Etsy shop. I just think it's a fun, crafty way to use these cute toys. All right, guys, so that is all of the LPS accessories and fun stuff that I found while flea marketing and yard selling for my birthday. I hope you all enjoyed watching me go through it and talk about my weekend. If you guys did, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up and you can check out more of my hauls on my channel. And guys, make sure to go over to my Etsy shop to check and see the LPS keychains that I have for sale. Thank you all so much for watching and stay awesome, my lovely giraffes. Bye.